this is lesson 78. Uh, the colours I've got for you today is uh, uh, winter blue red shade, the Elysian crimson and the raw sienna. So let, let's get those out of the way and then we can talk about what we're going to do. Okay. The picture I've chosen today is it's 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 a, a picture which is close to my home. It's it's a it's Cromer Beach. Where, where I live in Cromer, a lovely, lovely, lovely place. And this this action here happens happens most days of the year, and then it just goes on and on immemorial. So what's happening is the the the, the boat has just been out fishing and that, and he's coming back and he's on the trailer, the tractors just linking up to him and he'll pull him up the beach here away from all the the, the, the tides so it's, it's low tide here that the, the water's just here and the, the, there's a, a sort of a, a glow in the sky from the from the uh, early morning just the sun just coming up and we we'll want to get capture that glow and then sort of reflecting in, in the water down here and and then just in the boats at boat and the the the, the a tractor, a, mainly a silhouette. It's it's just a it's just a, a, a focal point for our painting. So let's see how we go. We'll, we'll start off with the let's, let's, let's wet the sky and see how we go with that first. This is a number twenty brush I'm using. This is lovely paper. I say I don't I don't like stretching paper, but I do like painting, and this 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 helps me. Right, I want to start with the top with with a, a winter blue red shade. This is uh, uh, sort of it's not a heavy blue this, this this on this particular one. It's just a, a light blue. And then I want to introduce it in the bottom of the sky. Some alizarin crimson down here. They're right over the over the, over the lot. Now we'll sort that out later. Then I want to get some. So I'll just run in there. Sweeping in that sky. because I want to retain my my colour there. Some of that back in. I want to let it dry a bit round because it, it, I want it to get get a bit more responsive. It, it, it's too wet just now to respond to other colours. So we'll see how we go. We'll let that dry for a few minutes or not a minutes, a few seconds. Let's see if we can get some add to this colour. Then I want to mix some of these these uh, the two the the illusion and the and the blue together. And let's see uh we'll get a combination of colour there. So that's a mixture of them two. That's the Elizabeth Crimson and the Windsor Red Shade. So what we've got. Just in here there's some there's some dark bits still so I can I 
just sort of trying to capture what to, the, the, the type of sky that I, that I saw. Whispy clouds sometimes up there. I'll get some of this colour down here as well. But some of this down here. I'm still wet now. It's, it's what's happening is diluting all the paint I'm putting on there and not really showing me what I really need. So we'll, we'll let it dry for a bit, but I want to put some extra bits in here. It's not, it's not, not quite what I want yet. So there we go. in that as well. Right, we'll see how that goes there. Some more distinctive marks at the house. I can drop a touch of I might be able to touch it. I'm going to touch a red in there. That might might just just give it that sparkle I need. It hasn't got. It hasn't. See, it's on, on, on the underside of this cloud here. Try some uh, cadmium, cadmium yellow. Let's I'm trying to brighten it up a bit. It's 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 not the sparkle I need. Let's see how we go. I'm trying some more, a little more, more cadmium red into that, that sky in the centre there. Let's see if we can brighten it up a little bit just here. It was such a terrific sky. I'm, I'm trying to do it justice. Better than what I'm doing, but not to worry. <laughs> We're trying, aren't we? Very trying. Bit. 
See if I can get some dark, you know, at least cloudy. Yeah, there's just a. It was that, them two colours I mixed together, the visible red shade and the alizarin crimson. Let's see if we can get some, some dark areas into this, because it, it, was, it wasn't all totally. It, it, the sun hadn't come up yet, and it was, it was, it was some but beautiful. You can get some lovely. It, nature is so beautiful, it really is. Try and capture it in, in its glory. It's uh, it, it it's it defies defies you. It does it. But there again, it's it, it's nice having a try. It's under dry a bit now. You can tell that it's just taking the colour better. Twiddly bits up here. Not that colour. I don't have any brushes in my hand yet. I tend, tend to just put them down. of that. Give it a bit more highlight. It's a bit dark that. Weaken it with water, just soften it. See how we go with that. That'll give some, some streaks in here. This is a reflection on the, there's, there's water here which we don't Capture some of the sky colours on there just to, well, to it replicate it because what's, what's what's on the water down here will be from the sky. Right, I'm fiddling now. Let that dry a bit and see see what it looks like. No, retaining the same colour, I want to use some of that colour up there and, and, and some of this colour down here. And let's see what we get. And it should it should give us harmony on that on that sea, shouldn't it? See how we go. Mind the boat. And we'll leave some little bits of gaps in there so that that'll represent waves. So it's got, it's got negative painting this because I'm not, I'm not painting the, the actual wave, I'm painting the, the around it so and leaving bits which will, which will sort of give me some light for the, the waves themselves. So do that, I've got to rip, reproduce it here as well. Just flick under that. Just get touch under the under the trailer there with the with the with the boat on it, and then carry this on. Just you see a little bit touch under there.
into the distance here. Look, we're not seeing much sea there, it's just it's off in the distance. Our main focal point is this area here, isn't it? So I think we'll just I might darken this. I don't want to silhouette these, I don't want to show them as, as, as uh, actual uh, articles. It's silhouette. So I'm using the colours that I've used already. Let, let's keep it simple. And uh, let's see if we can get a silhouette colour. Let, that's using the winter blue red shade and the Elysian crimson. Let, let's, let's see what we've got. There's the boat. I'll blend in the wheels because it's it's just it's, it's just a silhouette. But just a touch of light on some of these these wheels and things like that. And this top uh it's a bit it's it's it's, it's reflected a bit of light. There's some stuff on top of the deck there, we'll, we'll put that in. Catching the light and not filling it in totally. And these two rods up are in later. Now I want to do this here. This is like a, a, a see-through screen. A see-through screen. So uh, we won't have that blocked in. We'll try and just shade it slightly. I need a smaller brush for that. Should do. There, let's see if I can just gently put those in. They're like sticky up bits on the back of the boat, but what they're for, I have no idea. But, but a lot of them have them, so they, they, they must be something they need. If I post this in the in the in our chroma group, somebody will tell me. I think it was John, John that uses this boat. Uh, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I love it when they, they correct it, you know, just a touch of the back wheel there. Right, let's have a go at this, uh, this tractor. Not seeing much of the bottom there because it's, 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 it's in the sand. A bit of light on there. The wheel. The superstructure of the cab. So you see, you see some of these tractors, they're, they're, they're extremely old and they're, they're covered in rust, but they seem to work. They're, they're, they're there every morning, pulling them in or taking them out, and whatever they're doing, they, 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 they get on with it. It, it, it. it looks brilliant. A bit of light on the top of that tractor there, just a touch. There's a small wheel at the front here. Bit, bit 
dark under there. Just see the other wheel just there, look. You might see that other wheel just under there. I don't want to do it too much. The front wheel, I'm probably catching a bit of that sun or the light from there. And then there's a, like a chimney on top, exhaust pipe, I suppose, not a chimney on top of there. But that's that's a lizard and crimson and some window right here and a touch of a lizard and crimson, uh, Rossi Henry. That's the all, all, all three of them. So let's see how we go. Do little, little bits out in this is a bit of dry brush. So where the water water run in and it's it's left a channel. I want to darken this corner and bring it towards us so we'll strengthen this colour. Same same colours, but this time we're gonna we're gonna darken this foreground just to, to bring it towards us. This sort of stuff. That's it. We've got a, a touch of dark just just under the under the trailer and under the under the boat thing just anchor it to the ground if you like uh, not too strong under here. We need somebody there. I mean, it just do its do its own thing. This it's not automated. Somebody's got to get in that tractor, and somebody's got it's got to be hooked up on there on, on this, and then pulled in. So 
So I think we'll slip a, a silhouette of a gentleman here. Call him John. And he's uh, he's doing the business. I haven't, I haven't gone into colours or anything like that. It's just he's just a silhouette. John is just below me here. And he'll, he'll be probably about the ooh, not not. He's not big, he'll, he'll probably be about here. I'll put him about here. Probably just break the Orion with his, with his, with his body there. But I don't want to do anything. He's not eating fish and chips or anything like that, he's just doing his thing. But the fish and chips of this place, by the way, are fantastic. Really, really. Of course, the, the, the Cromer crabs are, are, are world famous. And this is he's probably been me out with the crabs on this boat, see? And it could be a bit of, bit of thing here to... The darks in here just smarten it up a bit. He's, he's on his way anyway. So the, the, this, there's this gentleman here called John. He's not, he's not Fred. This, he's not over this time. One Fred is, but we get a touch of reflection in there like that. He might get a touch of reflection on this here, from this boat. Just about here. I'm gonna stop there because where the sand is. I'm starting to fiddle now, I just want to put one or two more bits in. I might, I might give you a, a seagull today, folks, because it's uh, it's early one. They're looking for some, they're following the sea boat, the boat in. That's where the food is. And I think I want just a touch of, on the edge of this, where against the light, we're going to get some, some darks along here like this. Just against the light. Right, we'll look for a goal, shall we? Find a goal. And it's a gull using the colours we've been using, don't forget. He's got to be got to blend in with the sky, hasn't he? He was he was searching around here for something. There might be another mate up here as well. I don't like two. I'll have, I'll have another one somewhere. Probably hovering down here. I think I might just go. I'm, I'm, I'm fiddling now, but I just, just going to one, two darks. So it's away from the light, and you might get some darks on, on the 
It gives you these, these waves here. Which against the light. Not too far up there, just, just sticks in this foreground. And stop, stop. As soon as you pick up that little brush, you look for things to fiddle with, and, and, and it's not a good idea. Well, that's how that's how Crowe Beach folks uh, bringing in the catch is is is, is just been. They start about four o'clock in the morning. These lads. And they go out to the lobster pots and things like that. And then, of course, the, the, as soon as the, the light starts coming off, they go onto the beach and then, then get the get the fish sold. That, that's 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 tremendous. But Cromer is my beautiful spot, and it's it's it's, it's the spot where I live and where I enjoy living. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Uh, if if you did, g give us a like and a subscribe, and uh, oh, any comments you've got, you're welcome. And, and, and until next time. Uh, it's